How's it going everybody and welcome back to the Manda Bros channel. It's your boy Big O Nuggets and today I'm very excited because I've been waiting for this day for a while now. I've been super super excited. I've been avoiding all spoilers and everything and if you know what I'm talking about it's because today is the official release of Star Wars Ronin's A Visions novel. Guys it's out. Look at this. Oh my god the hard cover is so beautiful. I'm so glad I got it. I'm so excited to dive into this. This is awesome. The duel was one of my top favorite episode so i'm very very excited for this and you can get lucky too guys because we're going to be hosting a giveaway for you guys to win your own copy that is right so it's pretty simple guys i have all the information in uh in the description below for you guys to check it out but pretty much all you got to do is subscribe like this video and comment your favorite visions character and then uh, that will be one entry. You guys will also have another opportunity on our socials to enter by following our Twitter, following Emma. Uh, she is uh, the author as well. She is an awesome, awesome person. And we hope to have her one day on the channel to interview her and talk about Star Wars, the Ronin. Uh, so fingers crossed that we can get an interview with her. But um, but that's how you guys can enter. You get one entry here on the YouTube channel. You can get another entry on the socials. And we'll, we will be picking a winner on Friday uh, October 14th so make sure you guys are 15th I'm sorry so make sure you guys sign up and get ready and as we we're talking about books pretty much because I haven't read it. I just got this today I was super anxious uh, we're gonna talk about some of the upcoming novels coming to Star Wars guys if you checked out some of our shorts coming up there are some really really amazing novels coming up guys and I wanted to talk about them real quick because some of them actually have my interest peaked because they're some of our favorite characters well, let's go ahead and just kick off with the first one, guys. Uh, the first novel that we're going to be getting, as you can see, not the covers are not final yet, but it's called Star Wars Stories of uh, Jedi and Sith. So this is pretty much what uh, the story is going to be about. Star Wars Stories and Je Stories of Jedi and Sith will be released on June 7th, 2022, and is a mid-grade anthology book that tells multiple stories about Jedi and Sith, heroes and villains, light and dark and much more these stories will also feature such iconic characters as luke skywalker darth vader obi-wan kenobi Asaya's ventress and more alongside beautiful spot illustrations the authors who will be featured in this collective uh collection are roseanne a brown and so forth that's a lot of really amazing authors that have written some star wars the illustrations are by jack burke and the book will be edited by jennifer healthy so oh this actually sounds really dope we get to I, I always love reading about star wars and reading about certain little characters but i love that we're getting like a whole book just uh, uh about a whole bunch of jedi and sith which would be awesome so i'm actually looking forward for this one this is actually pretty nice i'm very very excited for uh star wars stories of jedi and sith next book that we got for you guys is pretty much star wars padawan by Christine White. All right, Star Wars Padawan. Uh, this is the uh, pretty much what it's about is uh, Star Wars Padawan is a young adult novel by Christine White that is set to be released on July 26, 2022. It follows a young Obi Wan Kenobi who is having a hard time in his early days as Qui Gon Jinn's Padawan. While Obi Wan's friends are trained by real Jedi, he is still stuck on Coruscant, practicing his forms and sitting in, si in silent contemplation. Obi-Wan finally gets Qui-Gon to take him on a real mission on a remote planet once explored by ancient Jedi. By Qui-Gon Jinn doesn't show up the morning they're supposed to leave. Obi-Wan takes it upon himself to go anyways and ends up meeting a group of teenagers with no adult supervision and who all seem to have some connection to the Force. He starts by loving his new freedom, but the pet on one side of him gets questions, begins to question what is really going on with this group. Oh, we get to see some origin stories. Yo, imagine if we get stuff like this and and the Kenobi series coming up. Flashbacks to his childhood, which is why we're getting novels about it. I would love to see some shit like that. And of course, see some backstory to uh, Obi-Wan, especially as a paddle one. I did, I did not know that this is kind of like his relationship with his master, Qui-Gon Jinn, from what we see in the movie. So this is actually really interesting. And I I, would, I always love a nice story based off of uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi, especially with the series coming up. I'm very, very excited. This is very interesting. What are your thoughts on this one in particular? Up next, guys, we got Star Wars Shadow of the Sith by Adam Christopher. Now, Shadow of the Sith, spoilers ahead. 
Oh, uh, spoilers ahead of uh, Star Wars The uh, Rise of Skywalker. Okay. Star Wars Shadow of the Sith is a new essential novel by Adam Christopher that will be released on June 28th, 2022. So a lot of these books are going to be releasing pretty like back to back. Um, and it was set between the events of Star Wars, Return of the Jedi, and The Force Awakens. Picking up nearly two decades on from the Battle of Endor, this novel tells the story of a galaxy that is still dealing with dangers that are still present in this new age of peace. Jedi Master Luke Skywalker is one of those people who is haunted by the visions of the dark side and its foretelling and ominous secrets growing somewhere in the deeps of space on a dead world called Exegol. Oh, if you guys don't remember, Exegol is pretty much the Sith planet. Oh, okay, so I believe this book is going to try to tie in, you know, like it says, from the events of uh, Return of the Jedi to The Force Awakens. I was going to try to build that little bridge between the movies, two decades pretty much. Which is crazy. Okay. I would love to see kind of what happens. Uh, as, as me, I, I love the, the, the 7, 8, and 9 movies. But I wasn't a, the biggest fan of them. But to see a little bit of backstory up to that will be very, very interesting. And now I'm going to look at one of the books that I know we will all be very, very excited about. And that's Star Wars Brotherhood by Mike Chen. All right, and, th and I read this already because I was super excited. Star Wars Brotherhood is a new story from Mike Chen that will release on May 10th, 2022 and follows Obi-Wan Kenobi and Anakin Skywalker during the height of the Clone Wars following the ex uh, explosion on Kanto that the Republic has been banned from. The Jedi sent Obi-Wan to investigate the crime and try to maintain the balance that has begun to dangerously shift. He teams up with the heroic uh, Pneumonian Guard, and they work to stop the Separatists and the threat of, oh, a Sire Ventress that hangs over it all. Anakin, on the other hand, has finally become a Jedi Knight and was told to stay behind while Obi-Wan was sent on his dangerous mission. As Anakin is known to do, he disobeys that order and joins to help his master with the promising but conflicted youngling in Tau. So I that might be uh, with Ahsoka because uh, during the Clone Wars, uh, Anakin had Ahsoka kind of as a paddle one. But either way, uh, Clone Wars is one of my favorite uh, eras. Obi-Wan and Anakin in a story is going to be awesome. Ventress is one of my favorite Sith as well. So this, this is very, very interesting. I'm very, very excited about this. Uh, we get to see a little bit more of Anakin during the Clone Wars, especially the peak of the Clone Wars. So this is dope. We have these new books coming up next uh, next year, kind of almost come at the same time, which is awesome. Let me know your thoughts, but in the meantime, you guys can dive into the Ronin uh, and enjoy this. And honestly, I would love, I would love, would love, would love to see more books about, I believe, the Ninth Jedi. I would love to read more about that. Even if we don't get a series, I would love to have more about the Ninth Jedi. I would love to see more about Lope and Ocho. And uh, the Village Bride as well. Those those three are ones that I would love to see more continuations about. But the fact that we get an actual book and a little bit more story behind the Ronin is awesome. So don't forget, guys, about our giveaway. Don't forget to like and subscribe, everybody. And I will see you guys in the next episode, everybody. May the Force be with you. For this is the way. Thank you.